pack of people. Let's talk about how to put this website together, shall we? Um, here you have it. Now, I sent you an email. And in that email, I asked you to be a contributor to the site. So um, you need to open that email in your school Gmail, of course, and um, accept my invitation to contribute to the site, right? And then you should be able to get in here. So you shouldn't need my login and password and everything like that. I'm asking you to contribute to the site. Now, unfortunately, only one person at a time can contribute to the site. So if you were to log on and try to edit, right, you're going to come, I think it's going to take you here, and then you'll have to say edit this site, right, which would then take you to the editor. Um, and if you do that and you get here, a little, and somebody else is already editing, a little box will pop up and it'll actually tell you who is editing the site. So um, you'll have to like just wait, obviously, until they're done. Um, or you can contact that person and say, hey, when you're done, you know, message me and let me know when you're finished and I can, you know, edit. Um, this also means that it's very, very, very important that you log off when you're finished, right? You can't just leave this tab open on your computer and walk away, you know, for four hours and come back to it. When you're done, you have to make sure you log off, like actually log off. I think you have to like go to site and then exit editor and then that'll take you back to here and then you can come over here and you can log out, okay? So that's really important in order for this all to work, okay? So here is how we have it set up here. If you go to this top tab, it says menus and pages, you'll see all of our pages. Um, so there's a welcome page, right? Which is just this. This is what it's gonna be when you like, it's kind of dramatic, isn't it? It's just black and it's like FHS, uh, photo and art exhibition, enter site, right? And then it'll take you to an overview page when you enter the site. Now this is where I'm just gonna put my own little, you know, thank you for celebrating with us and a, just a little overview of what this is um, and who you guys are and Miss Wagner's kids and everything like that, right? I've also made, I made a photography page. This is the page that I want you guys to look at, right? This is actually going to be my page. I am going to write my overall artist statement here. I always do this when we're at PACA. I actually write a big artist statement and put it on the wall and it's like the first thing you see when you walk into the gallery. And then also um, I put a gallery here. This is where I'm going to put your hallway shots and your self portraits. So there's going to be a one of your photographs and then a picture of you and then one of your photographs and then a picture of you. Um, this hallway shot is going to be something different than is that than the photographs on your page. It's kind of like a, in addition to. Um, and again, this is something I do in the hallway at PACA. Um, I always put a big print and then your self portrait like one from everybody in the hallway. So I'm just kind of replicating what I do at PACA. Right. So I want to show you this. I clicked here. If you click on edit text, you can see that I am on heading number one. Um, my font is Marzo. I am font size 36. Right. So that's like my title. And then if I click on the paragraph and I go to edit text, you can see I'm on paragraph two. Here's my font. Here's my font size. Um, and I'd love if you would kind of duplicate that on your page. This can be the thing that's consistent, right? Um, I also want a black background. So I just clicked here and it says change background and I just made it black, right? So I feel like everybody's page should be black. And then this white box is literally a white box. Um, if you go over here, add, I can add a shape. Woo, look at that. You can add a white triangle. Tri no, not triangle, rectangle. Um, and put your words in there. I think it stands out nicely. I think it looks clean. It's really great, right? Also notice this paragraph, I obviously haven't written. This is like, you know, what was there when I added a paragraph. But down here, I added my name. Now, if I click here and I go to edit text, um, I added my email. A lot of you talked about wanting to put your email on your page so that people can contact you. If you wanna do that, if you want people to contact you, um, I'm gonna say the only thing you're allowed to put on your page is your email, right? You may not wanna put your Fairview Schools email, especially if you're a senior, because that's going to go away. You might wanna put your personal email, that's totally up to you. 
Um, you do not have to put anything if you don't want anything. Um, but if you want somebody to be able to contact you, say you want to try to sell some of your work, um, this is what you're going to do. So I did actually type in my email, highlighted it, right? And then over here, what did I do? Let me try to remember. Oh, I clicked on link. When you click on link, it says email. What's your email address? There it is. And you say done. This will actually make it so that somebody looking at the website can click on that and it'll bring up their email and they can just email you directly. So if you want to put your email on your page, do it that way. Okay. When you go to create your page, this is the gallery that I chose for mine. You can choose whichever gallery you want. So again, over here, you go to add, you go to gallery. There's so many different types of galleries that you can choose, right? So here they are your galleries, you pick whichever one you like, okay? When you are ready, you click on it and you say manage media, right? You upload your own photographs, okay? Now, when you upload your own photographs, if you're doing it the way that I asked you to, which means if you have saved the file as the title that you want the photograph to have, the title will pop up right here, okay? Um, now, if that doesn't happen, you can make it pop up right here, okay? So that every time you click on a picture, because in these galleries, you can click on the picture, it'll make it bigger. And when it makes it bigger, I want the title to come up with the photograph, okay? I don't want it to say like image number 57323.jpg, right? I want it to have your actual title, okay? Now, the description you can leave blank unless you have... I mean, you can leave it blank or you can put digital photograph if you want to. Um, if there's something special about it, like if you were to sell it as a set or as a specific size or in a specific frame, I suppose you could put that in the description. Um, but not many of you have that. I'm thinking Taylor right now has already printed hers um, 16 by 20 and, you know, has them already done. Or Miss Wagner's kids, the description would be a great place to say, like, this is an oil painting. This is a ceramics piece and here's the dimensions. Um, you know, that sort of thing, right? So that's up to you. And of course, you want to delete these photographs that are just the, you know, photographs that come with the, um, the gallery that you choose. Um, when you go to add media, and you go to image, right? Um, what's gonna pop up here? Yeah, our photographs that are already here. Now, the, the best way to do this for you would be to click create folder, make it your name, and then put all your images in that folder because we have 18 people, 20 if you add me and Miss Wagner, um, 20 people, Editing the site, we need to try to keep it a little more manageable. So if you keep all your photographs in a folder that belong to you, um, that would be easier to do. I could like, you know, move these because these are all mine. <laughs> I think I had these in here because I was trying some test things, but there you go. So you add your own folder and then upload media from your computer into that folder. And then once you do that, um, do that and you can select them and you press add to page and it'll put it right in your gallery super easy super super easy okay um, and again you can you know design your gallery however you want um, try to keep the boxes the same size and keep them inside these dotted lines right obviously over top of the dotted line is our header and that's on every single page like if you move to studio art or something it's on that one too um it's all over right now if you want to what else if you want to switch now it saves automatically right but there is a there's an auto save but there's also a button up here that says save which i click you know I quick I click it a lot <laughs> because I just want to make sure. Um, you can preview the page. This is what the website looks like, you know, once we we'll, once we publish it. So when you're in the preview mode, you can click on welcome and it'll take you there. You can click on 
enter site and it'll take you there. You could click on when I when I hover over photography, everybody has their own page, right? When I hover over studio art, everybody has their own page. Um, now the one thing Miss Wagner did was she put your first and her first and last name. I might I'm gonna add your last names, I think, or you can add them if you want to. Um, I did my seniors first just because you're seniors, so yeah, and then everybody else. Um, so you could, you could click on a page, right? Now, right now, your pages are just blank. There's nothing there. Um, so it's all up to you to add whatever you would like, right? And Miss Wagner's pages are all blank, too. So, um, so again, see my, when you click on photography, that's my, like, photo overview. This is me. I'm going to just talk about you guys and your work um, and then highlight you down here right? And then when you click on a picture, look, this is where your title and the description would show up. And then I would be able to click through like this and look at your photographs. Okay. Give them a little heart if I like them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's like Wix is so super easy. And I think most of you have already used it. Um, I think most of you made your photo to websites with it, right? Um, all I ask is that you just don't touch anybody else's stuff, just your page, go to your page, work on your page, put everything in your page. Um, I also ask that you just double check your spelling, your grammar, your punctuation, like all of that stuff, make it sound and look really professional. This is our show this year. So I want it to be as nice as it possibly can be. So um, this is your overview. I'm sure there's probably lots of other questions. Um, if you come into any problems or anything else, just, you know, message me, call me, zoom me, whatever you want to do, right? We can go through it together. We could figure it out, right? Um, but that's it for now. And that'll help to get you started. Miss Wagner's kids are going to hopefully do theirs first because we have a lot to put together before we jump into the actual website making. So I'm hoping that her kids can finish hers first and then by the time they're done, it'll be our turn to put ours together um, and we won't be like trying to overlap and stuff. So that's it for that, you guys. Good luck. Make it look pretty. Um, super proud of your work. I can't wait to see it all together.